Guess what kind of animal Wacky Benny's making now? I'll give you a big hint. Is it a dead animal? I say we put him out of his misery and bring out Emma's cake. He's so new to this. How's he gonna learn if we stop his act? You're a sucky clown. <laughs> and you're a super duper audience. <gasps> hey, that is not okay. Hey, keep your hands off my son. You tell him to keep his hands off of me. <laughs> I can't move my arm away. Find you a new hobby, one you're a little better at. I'm gonna get better at it, and it's not a hobby. I, I think I want to get a job working as a circus clown, making people laugh. Man, I, I don't think that's a good idea. It's good enough for my dad. You were a. Uh... No, his biological father. Could his dad's melanoma be a factor here? That wouldn't be related. Man, you barely knew him. You're such a smart kid. You could aim a lot higher than face paint and seltzer bottles. Dr. Park is searching the registry. Transfusing his platelets will keep him healthy while we wait. Are you sure there's no one on the father's side of the family? If one of them's a match, that'd speed things up a lot. <sighs> his parents died young. He was an only child. There's no living relatives that I know of. Something will turn up soon. How soon is soon? Will he miss a lot of school? I'm actually thinking of just getting my GED. How do you expect to get into a good college? I'm gonna take classes on magic, juggling, and try to make a go of this. Ben, you keep your grades up, you can do anything in the world. Like what? Work in some boring office? I mean, do you, you, you think my father would have done that for 10 minutes? You don't remember your father. You don't I know- I want to build a connection with him. Pass on some of the, the joy that he gave me. My, uh... My, my back hurts, uh... <clears throat> He's dropping. You have to stop the transfusion. The patient's having an allergic reaction to donor platelets. No one in Mom's family's a match, and as far as she knows, Dad has no living relatives. It's been years since he died. The kid's dad died young of melanoma. How come the overprotective mom never took him to a dermatologist? He never had melanoma. How did he die? He didn't. He lives in Pensacon, under a different name, Mitchell Gordon. How could you keep this from me, from, from Ben? He really needs to know his dad just Breezed in and out of his life, drunk and incoherent. It's better to think the man's dead, but decent. Mitchell Gordon? I've already got a religion. Go away. We're doctors. Your son, Ben, is in the hospital. Princeton Plainsboro, he's very sick. Yeah, well, I don't have a son. Not anymore. We know there are some issues there, but your bone marrow could cure him. There's a hospital two miles from here. It's a simple test. You said he was at Princeton Plainsboro. His mother feels it's better to do the test at a different hospital. Well, like I said, I don't have a son anymore. You have to go see him yourself. He wouldn't even come to the door a second time. OK, I'll drive over there. It's a pleural effusion. He had a bleeding problem earlier. Must be bleeding into his lungs. <laughs> Except there's no blood. What does that mean? It means you don't have to make that drive. The problem isn't his marrow. I can't believe I have cancer. We caught it early. You should be okay. I could die. I never went anywhere. 
did anything. If my father had lived, everything would have been different. Your mom and stepdad love you. They've given you a great home. That counts for a lot. He's crashing. Everything's shutting down. House. Hello? What the hell are you doing here? I was told this might be my last chance to see my son. You had no right. This is none of your business. I didn't. I called him. This man's Ben's hero. Let him spend five minutes together. No, you get out of here. Wait. You sexually molested your son. Your walk, TV's Rosales. You have late stage syphilis which you gave to our patient, presumably 12 years ago, which also explains why mom is big on family reunions. I shouldn't be here. We tested him for syphilis, he was negative. After 12 years, the active infection would have died down everywhere except the arteries in his brain where it can hide out from our tests. When that six-year-old heckler punched him in his juggling pins, kicked up the dormant bacteria in his pelvis, the immunosuppressants we gave him sent it into overdrive. The antibiotics we gave him actually started destroying the syphilis. But like pouring water on a fire, it led to a trail of toxic smoke and ash and his immune system overcompensate. A severe jarish herxheimer reaction. Is this true? Yes. Jarish Herxheimer is real. It sounds silly, but... Oh, you mean the, 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 right. I found stains on his clothes. He didn't understand. And he didn't seem traumatized. I kept trying to talk to him, but before long he'd forgotten and he seemed he seemed happy and he seemed normal. So you made Daddy go away and you made sure Junior had no reason to go looking. I was just trying to protect him. Like I should have done from the start. Sorry. I need penicillin and any TNF antibodies. We'll be fine. Apart from the whole daddy rape thing. We're not done. No, we are not. Notify the dad's sexual partners, notify his employer, his landlord, notify the police. I meant the kid. We're not gonna tell him he was molested? To make him miserable or to forfeit your license? To tell him the truth. He's a virgin. How do we explain the STD? It's a medical diagnosis. Screw the parents. The kid's our patient. Well, I guess Tab's got a tough choice to make when the kid wakes up. Why is it my choice? Because you're a dad. How could the rest of us possibly understand? What was, what was wrong with me? It's called syphilis. Uh, you, can, you can get that without any sex? I didn't tell him. Your heart said he needed to know. Your brain knew he's better off without it. Following your heart is easy. Following your brain is tough. Especially after years of following that much smaller third organ. That's why all parents screw up all children. <laughs> 